Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I have a kind of a package opening, looking at cards type of a thing. Now, this is this is not the official uh, opening of the package, as, you know, Kurt Berglund likes to say. This would be a fake package opening here. Uh, it's not the real one. I've already opened the package. I've already kind of gone through the contents. But what I got was the Stratomatic Diamond Gems Negro Leagues uh, Negro Leagues B set that Stratomatic puts out. Now, I don't usually get Diamond Gems sets. Uh, the main reason that I don't normally get Diamond Gem sets is because the regular Diamond Gem sets are made up of uh, teams from sets that I already have. So I just, you know, don't need to do it. But I saw that this set has the uh, the Negro Leagues and it has like like actual teams from the Negro Leagues. Like the, the previous Negro Leagues... Um, uh, cards that I have are like just a bunch of players from the leagues, but they're not put into teams. Um, but this is the actual cards like in teams. And, you know, I was, I leafed through this, um, you know, uh, briefly. Nice to see it's got the ballpark ratings. It has the lineups for, you know, I mean, and I'm, if you, if you have ordered diamond gems in the past, I'm probably not telling you anything new here, but it has the lineups. It's got the, uh, it lists the carded players, the lineup versus righty, lineup versus left, uh, the rotation, etc., etc. So, um, yeah, good stuff. And, uh, and here we have the, we have the cards. Just going to hold those up briefly, but there is a section of the video, like in the next part of the video, I'm going to actually focus on some of the players' cards, especially the ones that I think are interesting. I'm sure I'm going to think that Josh Gibson's card is very interesting. But anyway, um, I'm just letting you guys know I got that, and uh, you could probably in the future look for me to have a uh, uh, do a game on uh the uh on the channel between two of the ne the actual negro league teams but um let's take a look at some of these cards though well here we go we're going to take a look at these cards uh the first one as i mentioned as i alluded to josh gibson now there's the front of his card uh on the 1943 homestead grays and that's what the card looks like. He had 43 home runs and 121 RBIs with a 321 batting average. Um, and if we flip the card over, we see the, uh, you know, the, the card, the look of the card is going to be similar on both sides. He was a catcher three with a negative four arm. Very impressive. So anyway, there's Josh Gibson of the Homestead Grays. Uh, next guy we're looking at, similarly, Willard Brown had a lot of home runs. He played for Kansas City, and uh, he hit 324 and uh, had 25 home runs with a 386 on base percentage for the 1942 Kansas City team. Um, a card that looks similar to um, Josh Gibson's. And he was a center field one with a negative one arm. And there's the uh, there's the back of the card, the uh, the advanced uh, portion. Next guy we're going to take a look at is Henry Kimbrough, and uh, he hit three thirty three, five hundred fifty eight at bats. Three home runs, 27 doubles, a 415 on base percentage. So, very good hitter for 1949 Baltimore. Flip over the back of the card. And he was a center field two with a negative one arm. Uh, Left-handed hitter. 
And that's uh, that's Henry Kimbrough's card. Next one we're going to look at. And some of these guys, it's just they have cool names. Some of them is because they got ridiculously bad stats, maybe. There's a couple guys like that in here. But this is uh, Slim Jones for the 1934 pitcher for the 1934 Philadelphia team. He was 24-10 and 10 with a 255 earned run average, 304 innings pitched, 263 hits allowed. Turn it over on the back. Uh, he's a starter nine. That's got to be nice. Plus a relief three. Plus a closer three. So, yeah. But, I mean, you're going to see that a lot. You would have seen that a lot in even regular Major League Baseball for this uh, time period. The 1930s, 40s, you know. So, there's him. Now, you got uh, Buck Leonard. I think Buck Leonard was... Uh, he's one of the guys... Wasn't he the guy that was interviewed on... Um, the baseball series, Ken Burns' Baseball. I think he might have been that guy that was uh, interviewed on, for that show. Uh, he had 18 home runs, a 292 batting average, 403 on base percentage. We'll look at the back of the card. Always got a... So there's the back of his card. First base 3E10 on the back, but a 4 on the front. Next guy we're looking at is, yeah, some of these, like this guy, Rudy Fernandez, relief pitcher, an 827 earned run average. He was 0-2 with an 827 earned run average, 37 innings pitched, 71 hits allowed, and he only struck out eight guys. And there's the front of the card, <coughs> and here's the back of the card, man. I think I should order my own batting card from Strat and then put myself up against this guy, Rudy Fernandez. And I wasn't a good hitter, but it looks like I'd be able to get some hits off this guy. So a plus six hold, too. Wow. Next one you got is a, a famous guy from the Negro Leagues, uh, Cool Papa Bell. And he uh, he hit 305, and this was what? 1943 for the Homestead Grays. He hit 305. Now look at that. 25 doubles, 7 triples, no home runs. Uh, but a 387 on base percentage. And then uh, a left field 3 with a 0 arm. Switch hitter too. Nice. And a stealing B. A bunting B, hit and run B. And uh, the last guy we're going to look at is Booker McDaniel for the 1942 Kansas City team. 15 and 6 with a 241 earned run average, 246 innings pitched, 208 hits allowed. So he was quite good. Oh, yeah. tricked me that time. So there's his pitching card. And so that is my look, a uh, quick look at some of the cards for the uh, the uh, Negro League um, Diamond Gem Set B. Um, be interested in what you guys think. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.